Your liver is one of your most hard-working organs. It constantly processes foods and liquids and then distributes the nutrients around your body. But that's not the only good thing, as your liver does so much more than just sorting food. On top of having more than 800 important functions, including breaking down fat in the body, it is also a powerful toxin remover. When a liver is healthy, it cleanses toxins from your blood, fights off germs, and boosts your body's detoxifying process. However, when a liver is unhealthy, it struggles to process anything because it has become so overrun with toxins. This is known as an intoxicated liver. Studies have shown that women are more prone to having an intoxicated liver than men. As a result, they also have more liver-related problems than men. But how can a liver become intoxicated? And what are the signs that your liver is deteriorating? In this video, we'll dive into these questions by revealing the top 10 warning signs of an intoxicated liver, identifying the symptoms you may experience, and looking at the potential causes of it. But before we jump in, can you do us a favor and like this video? Ring the bell to receive future notifications and make sure you subscribe to our women's wellness channel. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get a free gift on us. Now, here's the first warning sign of an intoxicated liver. Number 10, abdominal pain. Your liver is located on the right side of your body, just below your rib cage. It is closely connected to your upper right abdomen. Experiencing abdominal cramping, pain, or bloating can be a telling sign that your liver is full of toxins, because when the liver becomes inflamed, it starts to stock up fluids. The toxins within it stop the liver from processing this fluid buildup efficiently, and this can result in a painful swelling in the abdomen. Unfortunately, researchers have identified that abdominal bloating can often be overlooked as a symptom of liver toxicity in those who are overweight. This is particularly the case for men and women who are obese. One study investigating this found that obese patients were frequently not properly screened for liver toxicity. The bloating they experienced was often mistaken for fat in the abdomen. This is despite research showing that up to 90% of obese adults have an excess of toxins in their liver. No matter someone's weight, abdominal pain and bloating can be a key sign of liver toxicity. If this is occurring, liver function tests should be carried out to determine whether that is the root of the problem. As we're about to explore in our next symptom, an intoxicated liver can also impact on your weight. Number nine, weight gain. If you're experiencing weight gain that isn't linked to overeating or a hormone imbalance, you might want to chat to your doctor about your liver. Livers can easily build up toxins through the food we consume. When a diet is rich in processed or saturated fats, the liver has to work overtime to process it. Eventually, the liver can no longer keep up and becomes overwhelmed with toxins. This means it is no longer effective at carrying out its role of metabolizing fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Saturated fat is not the only dietary villain. Non-processed foods, including meat, fruit, and even vegetables are often covered with hidden toxins and pesticides. In fact, the findings of a recent study presented during Digestive Disease Week identified 123 chemicals associated with meat and poultry. Some chemicals included small doses of poisons such as glyphosate, BPA, and arsenic. It was estimated that the exposure to industrial chemicals could lead to toxin-associated fatty liver disease, or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So, what does this mean for your liver exactly? Well, excess fat and toxins through your diet and environment can push your liver to its breaking point. This causes your liver's processing function to slow down, resulting in weight loss resistance. This can also result in many other symptoms, such as symptom number eight, leg swelling. At its core, any type of swelling is a sign that something is not working properly in your body. Leg swelling is often the result of hypertension. Hypertension translates to the pressure blood puts on the arteries in order to circulate properly. When the pressure is too strong, it can cause a fluid buildup, which makes legs swell. So we must wonder, can liver toxicity impact hypertension? In short, yes. Hypertension has been proven to result from excess fat in the body, insulin resistance, and the development of a fatty liver. Research conducted by Ramsey University noted that 15% of adult patients with hypertension 
had abnormal liver functions. As we can see, liver toxicity is not always obvious. It might appear alongside other conditions, in this case hypertension, before becoming a tangible symptom. Number seven, skin problems and sensitivities. Like we've seen with hypertension, a liver full of toxins can strongly influence the fluid circulation in the body. When the liver is intoxicated, it struggles to metabolize food and has a hard time cleansing the body. As a result, healthy circulation is impacted. Poor circulation quickly shows on the body through rashes, dryness, eczema, and spider-like blood vessel networks over the chest. Recent studies have observed the link of poor circulation with a high stage of liver toxicity called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. One of these studies involved 151 patients who were experiencing recurring chest pains linked to poor circulation. A series of tests on these patients revealed that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease was present in 98 out of the 151 patients and it was even more prevalent in women and patients with insulin resistance. In short, liver toxicity leads to poor circulation, which can show up as skin sensitivities. Thankfully, skin-related symptoms are the first thing doctors look for when assessing liver toxicity. So it's really important to let your doctor know if you develop any skin problems. Next on our list is a serious sign of liver toxicity that also shows up as changes in your appearance. Number six, yellow eyes and skin. Having your eyes and skin turn yellow is one of the most obvious yet frightening signs of liver toxicity. This condition is known as jaundice. It happens when a yellow pigment called bilirubin is created from dead red blood cells. With a healthy liver, bilirubin is processed like other toxins. When the liver is damaged, it accumulates in our body and reflects through our skin. So we must wonder at what stage of liver toxicity does jaundice flare up? Jaundice is a symptom that has been primarily linked to a severe stage of liver toxicity called alcoholic liver disease, or ALD. A 2002 study observed 100 cases of jaundice admitted at the Stobel Hospital in Glasgow. After careful assessments, they noted that in 98 of those jaundice cases, patients were positive for alcoholic liver disease. They all had a history of alcohol excess. The remaining two cases were linked to septic shock. This shows that liver toxicity can result from the overconsumption of alcohol. Jaundice is merely a symptom of the damage done to the liver. This symptom, although alarming, is easy to pick up much like abdominal pain, swelling, and skin problems. But we're going to see in the following symptoms that other signs may not be as obvious, yet indicate a more serious stage of liver toxicity. Before we dive in, are you ready for your free gift? Discover how to naturally boost your health and energy with our free book, 25 Energy Boosting Superfoods for Women. Here, you'll discover the little-known foods and energy-boosting tips that are highly beneficial to your weight, sleep, energy, and mood. We hope you gain great value from it. Simply click the link in the description below to claim your free gift. Now, let's explore the less noticeable symptoms of liver toxicity. Number five, dark urine. Dark urine is often a sign of dehydration, However, it can also be a symptom of liver toxicity. Similar to jaundice, dark urine can indicate the surplus of bilirubin in the body. As the kidneys try to remove toxins and waste, it processes the excess bilirubin through urine. And much like bilirubin's yellow pigment influences the skin, it also influences the color of urine, often in dark shades of orange, amber, or brown. When a dark shade of urine becomes chronic, it can indicate a serious liver condition. So if you're frequently experiencing dark urine, you should first try increasing your water intake. The urine of someone who is well hydrated should be close to clear. However, if drinking more water still has no effect on your urine color, this is something you should share with your doctor so liver function can be investigated. Number four, frequent allergies. This one may be a surprise, but a liver filled with toxins can also result in the development of allergies. 
An allergic response is an inappropriate reaction of the immune system to a substance that is harmless to your body. This reaction generates antibodies that are responsible for symptoms such as inflammation, rashes, swelling and increased mucus secretion. So, how does this link to liver toxicity? Well, as toxins build up in the liver, it struggles to cleanse the blood. This generates a buildup of toxins in the bloodstream. When the immune system notices the toxins in the bloodstream, it reacts to them the same way it does with allergies. So the development of frequent allergic responses is another subtle yet serious symptom that something might be going on with your liver. And now, here are our final three symptoms of an intoxicated liver. Number three, chronic bad breath. While bad breath can be associated with particular foods you've eaten or a lack of dental hygiene, chronic bad breath might be linked to something deeper. Why? Because our mouth is primarily connected to our stomach and liver. As you know, the foods and drinks we consume travel down to our digestive system to be processed. However, much like when our body regurgitates, bad breath comes from toxins that the stomach or liver want to evacuate out of the body. In medical terms, chronic bad breath is known as fetor hepaticus, or in other words, breath of the dead. Fetor hepaticus is a distinctive breath odor associated with hepatic encephalopathy. This is a condition resulting from the buildup of toxins in the bloodstream. It's a sign that your liver is not doing its job of filtering out toxins and usually indicates a severe liver disease. And our next symptom relates to our digestive system itself. Number two, nausea. Nausea can occur when toxins that the liver has been unable to process start to build up in the bloodstream and the digestive system. This symptom can indicate a severe stage of liver toxicity induced by cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is a type of liver damage where healthy cells are replaced by scar tissues. It is caused when non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and alcoholic liver disease are left untreated over time. Scar tissues start to settle in the liver because healthy liver cells aren't rejuvenating quickly enough. This is mainly due to toxin overload. As the liver can't process any more toxins, it triggers the digestive system to stop consuming food, either through a loss of appetite or nausea. Doctors have attributed cirrhosis and its symptoms to a life-threatening state of liver disease. However, studies have shown that nausea induced by liver toxicity always comes with more obvious symptoms. So it's likely that liver disease will already have been picked up by the time nausea develops. And now, here is our final symptom of an intoxicated liver. Number one, chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue might be the most difficult symptom to link with liver toxicity. Why? Simply because there is currently no hard proof that fatigue is directly connected to an unhealthy liver. However, we've seen that everything in the body is interconnected and every subtle symptom can be linked to more obvious ones. This is the case for chronic fatigue. Various studies have in fact proved that chronic fatigue can be linked to exposure to environmental toxins. For instance, one study examined five patients under 40 who developed chronic fatigue syndrome several months after exposure to toxins. Two patients had experienced ciguatera fish poisoning and three had been exposed to solvents. Researchers noted that all patients' hypothalamic brain functions were disturbed due to the toxic exposure, as well as severe dysfunctions of the immune system. So we must ask, how do liver toxicity and toxic exposure connect? Well, toxic exposure can generate a condition called toxic hepatitis. It's an inflammation of the liver in reaction to toxic substances such as alcohol, chemicals or drugs. In some cases, toxic hepatitis can severely damage the liver and cause cirrhosis. So yes, 
Chronic fatigue can be a symptom of liver toxicity through its interconnection with toxic exposure. As we can see, a liver full of toxins can quickly be dangerous for your health. Thankfully, the body is usually quick to alarm us through both obvious and subtle signs. If you're experiencing any of these 10 symptoms, don't ignore them and book an appointment with your doctor. It's up to us to take note of these signs and take necessary steps to cleanse toxins out of our liver. Sometimes medical intervention is required and sometimes this can be as simple as making careful changes to your diet and to your alcohol consumption. And that's a subject for another video. We hope this has helped you today. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and hit the alert bell to stay up to date with us. Plus, don't forget to download your free gift, 25 Energy Boosting Superfoods for Women, by clicking the link in the description below. Have a healthy and joyful day.